Today our class will be about the conversions of the bearing lines into uh, co coordinates. On our previous class we have studied how to do conversions on internal angles to bearings with a known reference azimuth or known reference bearing point. For today's class you will see that the, the, the same idea will apply on coordinates. To study for transformations or transferring of coordinates to bearing we have to have a known coordinate for a particular station. And if you see on the board, we have point A with the known coordinates. The coordinates are, these things is 499627.040, nothing's 9262788.310. And this is the coordinate, this is the known coordinate that we have. We will use this coordinate to transfer this coordinate and identify the coordinate of point B, point C, after we identify the point coordinate of point B, we will use that coordinate to identify the coordinate of point C. And then after using the identifying the coordinate of point C, we will identify the coordinate of point D. After the D, we will identify the coordinate of E. And after E, we will identify the coordinate of F. You can do vice versa. You can do anti-clockwise or you can do clockwise as long as you have the bearing and you have the bearing lines and the distance known. So for this, if I'm going to use uh, anti-clockwise, I will use the bearing going anti-clockwise, going this way, all the bearings that goes anti-clockwise. If I am going to run the traverse going anti-clockwise, then I will use the bearing that follows anti-clockwise. If I am going to use clockwise, then I'll use the bearing for clockwise. And the distance will be the same distance. I will show you the formula on how you can uh, do your conversions of uh, bearings to coordinates with known azimuth point or known bearing lines and distance. This is how we are going to do our calculations. As shown in front of you is the conversions of bearing line to coordinate calculations. For this uh, calculation, I will show you one calculation and you have to go and do the others by yourself. It is very easy and straightforward. When I show you the first calculation, the similar will be applied to the other stations. If you look in the front, you will have the formula, which is the Eastings of the, the unknown is equivalent to Eastings of the known plus the sine theta of the forward bearing if you are going uh, clockwise. If you are doing anti-clockwise, then you will apply the back bearing, multiplied by the distance. And then for nothing, you will have nothing unknown is equivalent to nothing known, plus the cosine theta of the forward bearing or the back bearing multiplied by the distance. If you are using forward bearing, then you have to use forward bearing all the way until you close up back to the point where you started. If you're using back bearing or going anti-clockwise, you have to use anti-clockwise or using the back bearing all the way until you close back to the starting point. For this exercise, we will traverse clockwise, so we will use forward bearing. Note, you can use anti-clockwise and apply the back bearing. Remember, it's vice versa. You can either use the forward bearing or the back bearing. It depends on how you place the values onto the formulas. Now we will do the first calculation of the con 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 conversions of identifying the coordinate of station B. We have first station B, eastings and northings. We have eastings of B is equivalent to eastings of A because A is known and eastings of B is unknown, we put, I put eastings of B is equivalent to eastings of A, the unknown, Mult plus the sine theta of the forward bearing, I decided to use clockwise, plus the sine theta of the forward bearing multiplied by the distance of A to B. And then we have 499627.040 plus sine 48 degrees, zero zero minute th 35 seconds multiplied by the distance from point a to point b b which is 157.166 meters and you have the 
coordinate of B, the easting is 499743.8549. And now calculation of the nothings. We have nothing of point B, which is the unknown, is equivalent to nothing of A plus cosine of forward bearing multiplied by the distance of A to B. And then we have the nothing so B is equivalent to 9262788.310 plus cosine 48 degrees 0, 0 minute 35 seconds multiplied by the distance A to B which is 157.166 and then we have the nothings of point B is equivalent to 9262893.455 so on station B our new coordinate is 499627.040 for Eastings and nothing is 9262893.455. This is how you do the coordinate calculations, especially during the time when you have the known distance and bearing and one known coordinate for a particular station, which is the azimuth or the, or the reference coordinate. So use the same method that I am doing on this class and then you do the calculations of the coordinate of point C, D, E, and F. This is the end of our lecture for this, for today. It's about convergence of the angles, uh, convergence of the bearing and distance to coordinate. And I will see you on our next class.